question, huh? Before we go to UFC Fight Pass. I'm in. I think we can get it. We're going at 8 p.m. on UFC Fight Pass, but let's Please welcome fighter. to the blue corner, Joe Perez. Joe Perez is about to make the quickest walk to a cage that we've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, what's bizarre about Perez is a little undersized for a flyweight, but man, is he fast and is he powerful. I mean, his last fight had one of the craziest knockouts you've ever seen. I was happy to see him back on his fight card. And like, talk about a conscious stuff. This guy's got fast, explosive striking. And his opponent, I hope he tries to strike a bit because he, he just wrestles. And if you just wrestle and you never get your footing, you're going to have a tough time as a pro. It's a fun matchup, but you know, both guys are going to look to get some experience in this fight. Four and one record for Joe Perez. Earned that flyweight title shot that he's fighting for right now. Last time we were here in San Antonio with that crazy head kick knock out of Drew Lopez, which kind of like set the mood for the night. And we were all on edge. I mean, things kind of ended in an unfortunate event. We had a little brawl, but uh, it really was crazy. Let's meet his opponent. Please welcome to the red corner, Micah White. But getting back to that, that, that one kick earned him that title shot. Like confirmed, we talked to Eric and he said that kid is getting a title shot. As an amateur, he's going to have a tough opponent on his hand, a man who's already fought for the amateur title, lost to Hayden Breyer. Since then, he's been on a three-fight win streak. Two of those fights did go the distance. So Michael White now trying to get a championship under his belt, move his record to 7-1. and one. So this is cool, this looks new. You, you see the Browns guys in this corner, you see Chico, Artinius Young, uh, one of the, uh, the Houston the character. I love that man. You see Kubov in his corner. You know what, maybe this change of fight camps will give him a little bit of difference in his style. Now his wrestling's written, I like Micah, but I do think he wrestles too much. He did not look very comfortable on his feet, and that's just something you have to have, because you're not gonna put out wrestle everybody. You know, and just in terms of just like mixed martial arts being a, a spectator sport, you're gonna have to get comfortable kind of fighting in all aspects. I'd like to see if Micah's games, you know, progressed and grown since his last couple fights. This is his eighth amateur fight. You, you can't have too many more. I'm really curious to see his preparation, his game plan for this fight game. You mentioned that record, six and one, eight fight, four and one for Joe Perez. The crazy part, 21 and 20, as you see on your screen, Howler Head, our sponsor for this tale of the tape, even on the high reach advantage for Michael White. Let's go inside for our championship introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest brought to you by Howler Head Whiskey is scheduled for five rounds. It is for the Fury Amateur Series Flyweight Championship. Introducing your first competitor fighting out of the blue corner. This freestyle fighter stands five feet four inches tall and he weighed in officially at 119.2 pounds. Fighting out of San Antonio, Texas, he holds an amateur record of four wins. Only one defeat. This is Joe Perez. And introducing his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. This mixed martial artist stands five feet four inches tall and he weighed in at 124.2 pounds. Fighting out of Houston, Texas, he holds an amateur record of six wins. Only one defeat. This is Micah Dynamite White. And now referee Frank Colazzo with your final championship instructions. All right, gentlemen. This is a title fight. We went over the rules in the back. Want a clean fight? Protect yourself at all times. Obey my command at all times. Touch gloves to your corner. All right, let's crown a champ. In our amateurs, 125 strap on the line. Blue gloves for Perez, red for white. Both fighters definitely undersized, Michael, for this division. Michael White was oh, on, wow. on him quick. I mean, he's on his back early in the first, dry and fresh. 
And, and, and like, I, you know, you know Perez. He got a, the biggest opportunity of his life in the MMA realm. And you know he watched the footage on Mike. You know his takedown D and his get-ups had to have been his, like, primary focus in fight camp. This is not where you want to start the fight, though. Like, both these guys look more naturally as 115 fighters, huh? Yeah, they look like 115 fighters. And, and as a matter of fact, Rich Burmaster, the, the uh, matchmaker for Fury Fighting, um, you know, he told us that these guys just don't have a lot of opponents at 115. Either one of them have both fought at 115 but uh, and could have fought this fight at 115 yeah. against each other. But there's just not a division for that. There's just not a lot of people in there for that in the men's division. But, uh, but yeah, both these guys extremely undersized, especially uh, with Perez. Ooh, big punches. And Perez Good. came in at 119, by the way. Good activity for Micah. And he's got a, a standing body triangle. Uh -oh. This, this is going to burn out White's legs. I'm sorry, uh, Perez's legs and his sternum. And his, his whole thoracic region is just getting cranked on right now. Quads are working hard holding up Micah. Still got a minute 20 left. Micah just trying to find that one opening to slide that arm in and crank. A good defense thus far from Joe Perez. A little more threatening. Perez cannot let Mike get that other hand in. One minute left, Mike. I actually lock up naked chokes over the chin all the time and then adjust later. Now sometimes the angles off or you're too high, but... but just put it in there and just try to figure out later. Especially like use the palm to palm up. to lock uh -oh. it up. And then like right now, exactly like that. This is deep. I don't think Perez Can is going to get out of get this. get a tap here? I really don't think Perez is going to work his way out of this. Oh. This is deep. Can He's going to have to go White. desperation mode and just slam him or something. Oh, Man, props for Perez. That was deep. Perez giving a little smile to his corner over there. Don't worry, guys. Still yeah. in it. <laughs> I mean, props to Micah. And Got that lock loosening up just ever so slightly. 17 seconds oh, left. This one's worse. This one's worse. That's a tap. Another tap for the strap. Wow. Micah White. Dynamite finish for Dynamite White. We have ourselves a new flyweight champion in our amateur ranks. Yeah, beautiful takedown. Immediately took the back. Very nice scramble to the back. And then once he got there, Perez did a good job of getting to his feet. But Alex, once he got to his feet, just could not shake him. Micah did a great job of alternating back and forth, making it miserable for him, and finally got it in. That was deep. Good persistence there from Micah, the new champ. That was deep. Yeah, beautiful, very quick tap, too. I think that first Renegade naked joke was, took a toll on it, oh, so yeah. the second one was uh, even shorter. Let's crown the champ. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes. Two minutes, 47 seconds into the very first round. Declaring your winner by tap out due to a rear naked choke. And new Fury Amateur Series flyweight champion, Micah Dynamite. Why? Congratulations. Congratulations to Micah White on getting the submission championship tap. I love it.